So I'm just here today because I got on yesterday on my burner account and I saw this video where this lady was like screen recording us and talking shit about us and everything. But then I noticed she didn't screen record us yesterday and post when we were paying people back. When we paid someone back yesterday in full and I was showing the other person that we owe over $400 to and we're working on paying that person back as well. They didn't screen record that. They only screen recorded us when we were on live asking for help. They only talk shit about us when we were online asking for help and trying to get people to believe that we were scammers and all this other shit. But when we got on here yesterday and we paid someone back in full, that person did not report that shit. That person did not screen record that shit. That person did not go post that shit. And I don't understand that when we are actually doing good and proving that we're not scammers and we actually just generally just needing that help and was willing to pay the money back towards people. All people wanted to do was get on here, screen record us, and talk shit about us. But when we paid people back yesterday, and we paid that person back in full, and we posted that video on social media for everyone to see it, majority of the people didn't see the fucking video. She's doing all right, y'all. Majority of the people, a lot of people saw the video, but they didn't even fucking like it. They didn't even acknowledge the video whatsoever. You know, but we got so many people so quick to bash us and talk down on us. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something real quick. For all of those bullshit ass people going around talking about, oh, I did everything on my own. I don't need help. You had to ask somebody for help. You had asked somebody for help before, at least once or twice. And for you to sit there, go walk in your life and bragging and act like you never had to ask for help a day in your fucking life. Don't worry about our PayPal. I'm not trying to be mean, but we're not asking for anything right now. But for people to go around acting like they never had to ask for anything a day in their life is completely uncalled for. Because you probably stepped to your mom once or twice and asked her for a couple of dollars or a couple of hundred dollars to borrow from your mom. And for you to sit there and get on TikTok and social media and like you never had to ask for help for anybody is completely, it's complete disrespect to the people who helped you. Everyone had to stop and ask for help, whether it's directly from your families or not. And for you to sit there, go turning around and acting like no one has ever helped you and you did everything on your fucking own, that you're just a fucking ungrateful piece of shit. Because I'm pretty sure someone has helped you got to as far as... I'm pretty sure someone has helped you got as far as you gotten before. I'm pretty sure someone has given you a couple of dollars before and you had to pay that person back. I'm pretty sure someone had to help you get a ride to work and you had to pay that person gas money just for you to get to work. It doesn't matter whether you feel like you're spending your money, your own money to get what you need or not. At the end of the day, somebody still had to help you. Rather, it was them giving you a ride to work. Rather, it was them watching your kids for you because you couldn't find a fucking babysitter. You know? Everybody always have a reason why they need help and for you to turn around and act like you never need help is completely irrelevant because someone has helped you before and just because you see somebody on social media asking for help now all of a sudden you're big bad and you never needed it before you never had to ask anybody for anything but then two weeks from now you got a doctor's appointment pop up you don't got nobody to watch your kids and you're on the phone calling every fucking body besides your babysitter because your babysitter is on vacation and can't babysit for the week and you need a fucking babysitter so you can make it to your doctor's appointment who do you think is gonna help you then most likely one of your family members but are you gonna be grateful and acknowledge that person no you're gonna get on here you're gonna see somebody on tiktok asking for help and you're gonna go bash them like you never had to ask for help before what's the difference between asking for help with a little bit of money and still asking for help with your everyday life in person in person at the end of the day everyone asks for help for a little while for you to sit there and act like you never needed the fucking help and you never had to ask for the help at all is completely irrelevant because all you're doing is being disrespectful to those people who did help you rather it was just simply rather they were just simply giving you a ride to work rather they were just simply helping you with food clothing whatever it is all you're doing is being disrespectful to those people and showing them that you don't acknowledge the help that they give you now you feel like you did everything on your fucking no nobody was there for you but what about the people who's been there for you when you felt like nobody was there for you what about those people? What about your lovers that's been in your life when you feel like nobody was in your life? What about those people? You mean to tell me that you never had a struggling moment in your life and somebody picked you up? You mean to tell me that you never had a struggling moment in your life and you had to turn to your family members and ask for help? Or you had to turn to your lover and ask for help? 
So don't get on here and try to bash us. We sat there, fucking made a whole video and got on live and everything, showing everybody us making the effort to paying people back. And not a single person really acknowledged that. The people who were bashing us didn't acknowledge that. The people who were bashing us and talking shit about us didn't even come into our fucking live yesterday. They didn't even come into our live yesterday. No, they just screen watch. But then we still got people going around and using old videos, trying to reuse old videos, trying to reuse old videos to talk shit about us or talk down about us. When we're making the move, we're making a better. Yeah, it's not struggle. It's not fun to struggle at all. And I'll be going to work. You guys are coming when we work every fucking morning. The point of the matter is, I'm saying here paying people off and we're making the effort to pay people off. But y'all not taking that. Y'all not taking that. Y'all not seeing that. Y'all not seeing that. Y'all just want to talk shit. Y'all just want to talk shit. But we're over here paying people off and all this other shit. Why don't y'all screen record the good shit when we're actually paying people off and doing good for ourselves? Then why don't y'all talk shit about that? And that shit is completely irrelevant, you know? People ask for help every fucking day, whether it's just for a little bit of cash, whether it's just getting back and forth to work. There's always somebody needing help with fucking something, you know? But then I sit here and watch a lot of people get on TikTok, and they try to act like they don't ever need that help. Oh, they're big bad. They got big bank. They don't got to ask everybody for nothing. But then next thing you know, the first thing they do when they get off the fucking phone is asking somebody if they could watch their kids or asking somebody if they could get help with something. And that don't make no fucking sense. That makes absolutely no fucking sense. Just because you sit here and get on big bad on social media, that don't mean you don't need help behind closed doors. And that don't make no sense to me at all. That don't make no sense to me at all. It's a problem if we're asking for help, but you guys got nothing to say when we're paying people back. What about the people that we pay back so far? What about the people that we pay back so far? Why y'all not posting that? Why y'all not talking about that? Why don't y'all go talk about that? Oh, wait, but even if y'all do go talk about that, y'all gonna sit there and tell us that we're lying. How can we lie about that? Cash App shows you exactly how much money people sent you and exactly how much money you sent them. So how could anybody lie about that? It's the fucking app. That's how the system works. How can anybody lie about a fucking system that's been operating on its own for so many years? How can we lie about something that's been operating on its own for so many years? Cash App been operating on its own for so many years. I don't run Cash App. I can't control Cash App. I can't hack Cash App. Yes, everyone needs something, but every day it's different. Everybody always needs help with something different. And it still requires you stepping up and going and asking for that help to you to get that help. Rather, you need help with a fucking walker, you got to go to the hospital and try to get a fucking walker. You need help taking care of your appointments and stuff, and you don't got nobody to watch your kids, then you're going to have to ask for help for somebody to watch your kids. We got excuses for everything. No, we actually needed the fucking help and everything. We started paying people back, but y'all ain't talking shit about that, though. Because never the day some ungrateful motherfucker going to come into my life and try to talk shit to me. At the end of the fucking day, everybody needs fucking help. Everybody needs fucking help. For you to sit there and act like you never asked for help, ask somebody in your family or ask somebody you know for help in general is completely out of line. I hope they see you acting like that. And when you need help again, they don't fucking help you. I hope they see you acting like that. Because they, for you to act like you don't need to help that much, this shit, why should anybody fucking help you? When you go around needing fucking help with somebody to watch your kids, needing somebody to help you get back and forth to work, needing somebody to help you do laundry or whatever the case might be, whatever it is you need help with, I hope they don't fucking help your ass. Because you sit in there showing off so badly, telling everybody how much you don't need to fucking help. When your mom sees that, when your parents see that, when your family sees that shit, and how ungrateful you're being towards the amount of time they stepped up and fucking helped you.
And you on TikTok act like nobody's ever fucking helped you. You out of did everything on your fucking own. I hope they see that shit. I hope they see that shit. And I hope they feel the ungratefulness from your ass. And I hope they decide to never help your ass again. Because it's just that fucking simple. Everybody goes to everybody and asks for help every once in a while. You don't see people getting as dedicated to paying everybody back as we are. And this isn't the first time we got on social media paying people back. It's been multiple times. It's been multiple times we made videos like that, paying people back. This is not our first time paying people off. We have paid people off multiple times before. Baby, what's going on? I'm just online? talking my shit. Are you online? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to see. Okay. Yes. <coughs> we have paid people off multiple times, but y'all don't talk about that. The live don't talk about that. Reddit don't talk about that. Reddit don't talk about when we are actually doing good and showing people that we're not fucking scammers and shit. Reddit don't talk about that shit. You know? And for all of the people who nonchalantly, oh, don't know if they can trust us or not, go right ahead. Block us and move on with your lives. Block us and move on with your life. Because when we're actually doing good and we're at that point where we don't have to ask for help at all and we're just stuck steadily paying people off, paying people off and building our platform, you don't have to be there for that. We don't need you in our lives for that. Damn straight. Are the comments on? Nope. Shit. Cash App saves the name for every person. And we got to block everybody and just send everybody back their fucking money. We'll fucking do that. Straight like that. Cash App will give us a name to every person who's helped us. And for all the people who's trying to run in and go post something on Reddit and all that other shit talking about, oh, I gave them this amount of money and they didn't pay me back yet, obviously you didn't fucking give a shit. Because if you felt so butthurt about it and you see us paying people back, then why are you not being patient and understanding, knowing that you're not the only person we have to pay back instead of running on social media and trying to put us on blast about what little bit of money we quote unquote owe you because we're working on paying people back and we made it known multiple times that there's multiple people that we have to pay back so for those people that we need to pay back please be a little bit patient with us or message us and remind us or message us and remind us who you are but regardless or not the cash shop shows us everybody and if your name is not on our cash shop list then you didn't send us shit and you're just going around talking shit for no reason or paypal is yeah, but we got very few people on PayPal. I could run through PayPal's list in le less than two weeks. Yeah, I know. Compared to the damn cash shop list, I can run through PayPal list quick. I know. But it's not the PayPal oh, Reddit is what we're about. So apparently, um, Erica and Paige are running around saying I scammed them out of money. Erica and Paige skipped. First of all, that's what I heard. Because, guys, we could get on there right now and show you guys multiple times where Erica had came to us asking us for fucking money. And we sent it to her when we and were we on the streets. And we sent it to her when we had it. We, even when we were on the streets, we sent that bitch money. All right? The bitch got off the streets because of us. You know, but y'all going over there and we got all of these people who were on our side, who's been watching us from day one, who's known that we held Erica from day one, turning on us. Turning on us because she had... What, what proof that she has of her son does anything? Because I can really show y'all some real shit. No, babe, don't. Don't go that far. I can show y'all all the messages. I can show y'all all the messages where Erica had came to us multiple times asking us for help or asking Alexis to come into her life and help her make money because she wasn't getting it on her own. I can show y'all multiple we messages. Our TikTok fam while we were walking around the streets of New York homeless. We sent, our TikTok we sent people over, over there to her fucking TikTok live. To her life, we sent people over to her life to try to help her get fucking money. To get her off the streets. To get her off the streets. Out. Because she was by herself. Originally, her boyfriend was inside of a drug house. No, no, no. No. He was in a rehab facility. A rehab facility. I don't facility. know if it was for drugs or for something else. Why else would he be in a rehab facility? There's, there's other types of rehab facilities. For like physical therapy and all of that too. That's why I don't Anyway, say your boy was in a rehab and she admitted everything that she was... Fucking coming clean off the drugs and everything. She admitted that she was coming clean off of all that shit. Then all of a sudden, not even two weeks later, her boyfriend, who wasn't supposed to be getting out of the fucking rehab for another year from now, from then, or a couple of months from then, was out. And she's going on dates and everything. She posts videos after she spends, makes her money. She posts videos and pictures on she Facebook. 
of them going out to eat. But you guys bash us with somebody actually gifted us the money to go out to eat. And this girl is literally taking people money and then going out to eat with the shit. And they're posting it all over social media and Facebook like it's cool. We don't post shit like that on Facebook when we get the help like that. Yeah, we stay live for the people who want us, who helped us that day so they could see that we're using the money that they gave us. On what they told us to use it on, but we don't go posting it on social media as if it was our money to just spend however we Isn't like. Your strawberry so good? And we're just having all this big time fun and all this other shit. We didn't go making big videos and taking a, a shit ton of fucking Facebook pictures and all this other stuff to go posting it all over social media like we're living our life good. Can you pull those pictures up for me so I can no, show it one she time? Has me blocked on Facebook. Wow. I can't, or I would. You should have screenshotted that bitches. I should have. You should have screenshotted them shits. She was going to turn on me. You should have screenshotted them <laughs> shits. Because she has multiple fucking pictures. She has multiple fucking pictures on her Facebook page of her going out to eat with her fucking man. But where is she getting this money from? Because she don't got a fucking job. Every other week, she lost her fucking job, but she's looking for a new one. Every other week. He works now, but he wasn't around the time that the pictures were posted. He was on workers' comp. Shit. What are you doing, ma'am? They really want to talk about it for the longest time. Every other week she was looking for a and fucking job. Last I checked, Paige never sent us a damn dollar. Paige never sent us a damn dollar, and we could definitely prove that. But apparently, yeah, they're going around saying that we scam them out of money and we're these terrible people. Like, if it wasn't for us, Erica's got to remember, if it wasn't for us, she would probably still be on, on the streets, streets right now. If it wasn't for us, she'd be on the streets right now because nobody would even go into her life and help her. We're the one who built her fucking platform that she very so sleeps on today. We're the ones who sent people over there to Where's fucking help her. When people were on her live talking shit about her and badgering her, you guys could... I got and defended her and helped her out. You guys can see videos and pictures on Reddit of Alexa, of my wife sitting there standing up for the bitch and defending her and helping her every step of the fucking way when she was on there asking for help. And my wife was standing up for her, but now all of a sudden my wife is the bad person. That literally, like, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious? And I even told her that I was like, remember who was there for you when, when you get turned on too. Where's my bag? That's what I'm looking for, baby, because I was going to look through it for you to find your charger piece. <clears throat> I got to clean up today. At least it's mainly clothes, but I got to Check out the shop card. But that don't make no fucking sense, though. How is it we the ones who help somebody? How is it we the ones who help somebody and they find a couple of good people to try to help them turn on us? And build them a better platform, and then they turn on us and they run with those people. When we the ones who help them, well, we the ones who help them. Everybody was mad that I didn't reveal my pregnancy to TikTok, and that's the main reason why everybody turned on me. But at the end of the day, they, if she wanted to hide her pregnancy business. from everybody, that's none of y'all's fucking business. That is none of y'all's fucking business. But then now y'all rolling. But now then they rolling with the actual fucking scammers, the people who's actually scamming people and taking advantage of the people. Y'all rolling with them. Yeah, I've only with that. We were oh, actually no, just... Reddit went after Paige. They were like, it's funny how she's sitting there talking about Alexis, but where are her kids? Apparently she has more than one than the one she's pregnant with. And um, they were like, it's funny how she's sitting there talking about Alexis, but she doesn't even have heat in her home. Doesn't even have heat. Then Erica had to raise over us for $300 twice for her to get her fucking... He on. on and power turned on, but Reddit was talking shit about that when she turned oh, yeah, around and asked for, for the shit twice. Page. She has a red page. It's up. Don't don't be fooled. She has a red Point of the matter is, you know, these are people that we've helped ourselves. Even when we needed the help, people were telling us, oh, y'all should have helped them. In here but your yeah, Reddit was coming to us and being like, hey, don't help them. They're scammers. We people, listen. people were coming to us, telling us that we should have helped them right there and then but because we needed the help. Yeah, multiple Because we times. needed the help, you know? But we felt bad because she was a woman on the streets by herself and we didn't want that for her. So we got her off the streets before we worried about ourselves. But I'm the bad friend. 
because I hid my pregnancy from TikTok. First of all, if I wanted to hide it, that's my business. And I had very good reasons behind why I hid it. Wasn't y'all story to tell? Wasn't her story to tell? Wasn't anybody's fucking story to tell? If we wanted to keep our fucking pregnancy and our kids to ourselves, then why is that anybody's business? If we wanted to work on building ourselves up and keeping people out of our business, then why did it? Why, why does that matter to anybody? Honestly, what I don't appreciate is the people that we've helped before, and they seen us help other people turning on us when. They know we were planning on doing better. We have all these big plans of doing better. And we've showed effort towards us trying to do better multiple times. We just needed to get to a certain point. We showed that effort to us trying to do better multiple times. Don't you think any of y'all give a fuck? No. No. <laughs> well, can you screenshot some of those messages between you and Erica first so they can see what kind of person Erica was? Yeah. Because I didn't delete them, so the messages are still there. I just gotta find her. Hold on. Because when did we ever really ask her for money? And then the time that she, when we did ever ask her for help, she never had it. If we did ever ask her for help, she never had it. She was always on TikTok asking for help. So we couldn't ask her for shit because she was always the one needing the fucking help. And we always felt bad for her. So we knew not to ask her for shit because she was always asking for help. She was the one coming out of nowhere. She was the one coming out of nowhere right before our daughter's birthday. Oh yeah, I'll send y'all something. I'll send y'all something. But never really sent us shit. Oh, so this is where I had offered her a uh, food order. I was going to do a food order for her. She messaged me December 20th at 8, 19 p.m. Was you still going to do an order for us? You don't have to. I was just wondering. I said, let me talk to Don when he gets home and I'll let you know. She said, okay, well, I know you said you talked to him already, so I didn't. Know Come that. over here so they can hear you. My phone's on 6%. That's fine. It's going to be quick. Okay. I said, because... We have to get food for Lily's birthday party. She said, that's why I asked, because earlier you said y'all already talked about it. I said, we did, but we have to make sure we get her stuff for her party first. Like, she was persistent about the food order. That was just one time that she asked us for help. Hold on. Um, hold on one second. Then December 2nd, my birthday... She messaged me. She said, she, we probably won't be able to get water on shaking my head. The girl talked to someone that works there this morning, and it's going to be 240 to get it on shaking my head because of the location of the house shaking my head. I'm stressing. I said, I thought they told you 100. Then she said she did. She We're said, reading our messages between us and Erica because apparently Erica and Paige is going around calling us scammers and all this other stuff. But Erica has came to us before multiple times asking us for fucking on help. On my birthday, she asked On her me birthday, first. she came asking us for fucking help. I don't fucking understand how people who could come to us asking us for help. November 17th at 5 p.m. Do you think you can help me with like $30? I said, I'm broke, girl. She said, they cut off my stamps and I'm starving. I said, I'm broke or I would. Hold on, let me show that real fast, too. She said, okay, I'm sorry for asking. Because I don't understand how somebody could come to us, ask to us for help, but then go talk shit about us acting for help. You come to us asking us for help, but they talk shit. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. People come to us asking us for fucking help, and we try to fucking help us. And we try to help them. And that that girl, the Erica, time. I think, used huggy hugs because she on daily acts in at least 150 to 200. She don't stop. But you know what? But you know what? But you know what? People talk shit about us when we Once get on. accidentally clicked out of it. People talk shit about us when we get on there every once in a while and ask for help to do stuff like a birthday party for our and child. I was trying to protect her from Melinda because Melinda had been going around talking shit about her, but she didn't want to listen to me. She kept saying that um, she knows Melinda personally. Good to know. 
yeah, we got kids to feed and everything, you know what? But we were still willing to fucking help other people. We were always helping other people. That's why we always needed help. Because every time we turned around, there was other people around us who needed help too. So when you guys were helping us, we were helping other fucking people. While we were getting help, we were helping too. We were trying to pay it forward. But social media don't want that. Social media wants to see us paying the money back directly. And that's what we're getting that getting into the habit of doing now is paying this money back directly on top of us already paying it forward to other people. You don't do it daily. She's on every day, all day long from morning to night. And that's crazy, though, because people, when we get on here every once in a while and ask for help, we get bashed up as we're on here 24-7. When we literally don't be on here like that at all, we get on here once in a blue moon. You guys know how long it's been since I got on here and asked for help before getting on here and asking for help with our daughter's birthday party? We were off for a while, and it wasn't up until our daughter's birthday party and with Christmas that we got on there finally and asked for help with Christmas and our daughter's birthday party. What are two things that we ever asked for help? Those are the last two things we asked for help with. And prior to that, we were on there for a while. We haven't been on there. People were texting us, asking us, when are we going to get back? Before we even got back on there, asking for help like that. People were asking us, when are we going to get back on? What happened? Is everybody okay? Are we okay? Y'all were asking us. People were reaching out to us, checking on us, making sure we was okay because we haven't been on for a while. But we got people like this who come. Oh, we got this kind of message. September 6th at 10, 15 a.m. Can y'all please spare 20? That's all I need. I don't want to be on the street. I know y'all are thinking of your family. Hold on. Let me read it. Let me read it first. But I did see the live and y'all made over 150 last night when you didn't even plan on asking or anything. I'm family or so y'all say, but y'all can't spare the 20. So I won't be in the situation. Y'all got uh, out of... Finally, I start work today and I stayed up all night worrying about can't worrying. I can't go live to even try and get the help. So basically, she tried to bring us down because we couldn't send her twenty dollars. Yeah, hold on, let me show that real fast. Scroll up because that's the long message we sent after. But we're the scammers, and we're. But we're the scammers, guys. Hold on, no disappointment. She said I can't even go on and lie to get the help. Probably because she had already asked for help the day before. Because she already asked for the help. So that means, guys, majority of the time, you know, when she's on there, you guys now know for a fact that she is lying. Because like she said, she can't even get on there and lie for the help. You know, but we got people like Happy Nana who's coming into our fucking life and cursing my wife out and everything for that girl. That don't make no sense. But then we got people like this that we have literally helped and tried to help. Let me go on the cash up and see how much we sent her exactly. Hold on. Where'd that message go? You gotta scroll up. Brought up them multiple times. Multiple fucking times, y'all. Let me go on the cash app and see how much we helped her exactly. Hold on. I'll let you show the message one more time. I don't think we really helped her a lot, a lot. Maybe $20, $30 most. But the point of the matter is you come to us with help. You came to us multiple times asking us for help, whether we were able to help you or not. You know, you came to us multiple times asking for help, but then you're on social media talking shit about us. When you came to us asking us for help, yeah. we helped you build your platform, and now you're going around talking shit about us and calling us scammers and all this shit. There's a message again. Look, and this isn't the first time that she's acted for money. No, the first time was like. Months and months ago. I'm not even going to get into all that, but yeah. But I'm the bad person, and, and I scammed her out of money. Girl, bye. You never sent us the first dime. I have no reason to lie to people about our situation, ever. Ever. I would never. And what's not understanding is, how are we helping people and getting all this hate? And I hope they screenshotted that and they posted on Reddit too because that's bullshit. For her to go around and talk bad about me after all the times I was nothing but there for her. I listened to her cry because her man wasn't home with her. She was by herself. I listened to her cry multiple times and I calmed her down and I soothed her and I let her know that everything was going to be okay. I was nothing but a good friend of that girl. So I hope they screenshotted that message and they posted on Reddit and I hope she fucking sees it. 
She can go eat dirt for all I care. I'm tired of being shitted on. When I do nothing but be good to these fucking people. <coughs> and it ain't gonna happen no more. I ain't gonna continue to be a good friend to people who don't give a shit about nobody but their fucking selves. And that's just how I feel about it at this point. Anybody in that live that's got an issue with it, kick fucking rocks too, because I don't give a fuck. Because that's just out of line. That's just out of line, you know? We don't fuck around with people like that, you know? I don't fuck around with fake people. I ain't a fake bitch, and I ain't about to deal with fake bitches either. I don't play that fake shit. There's very few people you guys get on here and see asking for help that's actually made the effort to try to pay those people back. You guys seen us multiple times make an effort to try to pay people back. And I don't say nothing bad about nobody. And we don't say nothing bad about but... nobody. We get on our live and we do what we got to do. The only time we say talk shit about people if is if they're, they're talking, talking shit on us. us. And that's if they it. turn on us and they got and they talk it down on us, that's the only time we talk bad about anybody is if they will talk really about about us. Bad, it's, speaking true facts. it's speaking the true facts. It's putting them on blast because they thought they were gonna get on here while we wasn't paying attention and talk shit. And talk shit. They, they thought know, one of her trolls came to me and said, "I wonder if if you. I wanted to know if you know that Paige and Erica are going around saying you scammed them out of money." And I just deleted the comment because I didn't want that on my TikTok videos. But still, like that shit really upset me. It's like, are you fucking serious? After all the times I was there for the both of you, I was on the phone with y'all daily listening to y'all complain. Erica about her needing money for something and Paige about her man or her baby father not being a good baby father and telling her, what did, what did her baby father tell her when they found out she was pregnant? Uh, the kid is a waste of his time. Yeah, so her baby father told her that the kid is a waste of his time. That's why. She sees me and Alexis trying to work I with each other. So fucking bitter. She sees me and my wife trying to work with each other and make things work. And she, 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 couldn't, like, she couldn't accept that. It was too much for her. But it's just upsetting when you try to be a real friend to someone and they turn on you. Good morning, Tay. I see you. Is that the same Tay? Huh? The same Tay? No, uh, the girl you're thinking about, her name is Tate. Tate. Yeah, not Tay. And you damn straight I kept my pregnancy a secret because I can. That's why. And for all of those people who turned on my wife just because she wanted to keep her pregnancy a, 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 a secret, you're ignorant. That's you're so ignorant. Character. You're ignorant. It shows your true character. At the end of the day, as a woman, you should have been understanding. Especially after seeing all the shit I went through about Lily. She's the one that's going to send me snow. <laughs> that's funny. Huh? I'm still waiting for my snow, damn it. Tay says she's the one who's going to send me snow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as a woman, women should be understanding when it comes down to wanting to keep but a they're pregnancy. Not. They're not. A especially, secret. Especially when they're fucking... Women get pregnant, especially at a young age, 24-7, and the first thing they think about is keeping it a secret because they don't know how their parents is going to react. So and women should understand. She kept it a secret from her family for a while. She kept it a secret herself. Wow, that's crazy. But then she's bashing you for keeping her, your pregnancy the secret. That's crazy. I think people are jealous that people send you money and not them. That's why they hate. But you know why they send us money? Because they see that we're not scammers. Scammers. And we we're actually, actually legit the people. Help. And we actually needed the help. And we were actually willing to pay people back. That's why they send us money. Tay said I kept mine a secret for 20 weeks. She was only able to keep her for 15 weeks. Until someone decided to And you wasn't even day. fully 15 weeks. She wasn't even fully 15 weeks, but we were only able to keep her a secret for 15 weeks before somebody go aired it out. And that's another thing. Like, that is so sentimental and such a touchy subject. I should have been the one to be able to say something. I wish I could keep mine as damn secret, but I don't be caring. These my kids should mind theirs yes everybody should very much mind theirs everyone help yourself this year focus on you and your family this is what the app is for bless thank you right she shouldn't have ruined that moment for you 
she did because she's a two-faced bitch. I always keep my pregnancy private until second semester in case something happens. Trimester until in case something happens. And that's, that's a pretty good thing because a lot for a lot of women with pregnancies and everything, like a lot couldn't happen within that first trimester. A lot couldn't happen. Miscarriages. Miscarriages. Anything, anything could happen within that lot tri in that first trimester. And the first thing that you ever want to do is go running around getting everybody all excited about you being pregnant and then something bad happened because not only is that going to hurt you, but then that's going to hurt a lot of people too that really cared about you. That's going to hurt a lot of people and then people are going to start feeling bad for you and all that other stuff, you know? As a mother, that's all right. People think it's so wrong to hide it, but that it's not. It's really not. It's really not because you just never understand. You don't understand what that woman might be going through. She might not be in a mental the good position to deal with what she's dealing with herself, you know? Pretty loops, baby. There you go. Sit down, eat your I kept you mine the whole nine months. A secret. Only my grandpa down, and aunt knew. Loops, baby. There you go. Sit down. Period. Yes. Period. 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 And for those people who turned on my wife because of it, I wish they were here to see all of this right now because it was none of their business. And if they're females and they turned to my wife just because she kept it a secret, period, period. It was none of your fucking business. So why do you feel some kind of way about it? And the crazy part is I confided in very few people about the pregnancy. And they went and turned on me and plastered it all over the fucking internet. And it was all over a misunderstanding because someone went and told Paige that I was talking about her in our live. Nope. And she believed them instead of asking me about it. And anyone who knows us, anybody who actually knows us and been in our life for a while, and somebody is coming to you, oh, they're talking shit about you, they should know by now to come to us first and talk to us first because we get a lot of hate. And when people see us being cool with certain people on here, then they try to reach out on that person and try to get that person to turn against us. And we made, it, we made that clear to everyone in our life multiple times. That if you're in our life, be careful for the haters. Be careful for the fucking... And if you get messages saying that we're talking about... The you. trolls. Be careful for the trolls because they're going to try everything in their power to get you to turn against us. They're going to sit there and tell you that we're talking shit about us and all kind of shit. You know, but I could simply just get on live every day and you guys could come into our live and see, we don't talk shit about people. We don't got time to be saying they're talking shit about people unless we feel like they're talking shit about us. We don't got time to give them that much attention. We got other shit to worry about. We don't got time to sit there and worry about the the better accomplish the, the accomplishments of better men. We don't got time for that shit. All I'm saying is watch who you get close to. <laughs> Whether it be in real life, on social media, just watch who you get close to. Don't trust a fucking soul. Do not trust a soul. And if those people really felt some kind of way, they could have reached out to us. We could have scored them, screamer shots, everything. But they didn't want that. No, they just wanted to get their point across, say what they had to say, and be done with it. If they really felt some kind of way, they could have contacted us, messaged us, us directly, and asked us for proof. And we could have proved them wrong in multiple different fucking ways. I can download the live replays. We can download the live replays and show everybody where we don't talk shit about people on here. We have more than enough proof. I had no reason to talk about Erica and Paige. We got more than enough proof. We got more than enough, more than one different ways to prove people wrong on this fucking app. We're just talking shit about Erica and Paige because they're still talking shit about us apparently and going around telling people that we're scamming them. But we got multiple messages of Erica herself asking us for help. And us either helping her or not being able to help her. And then she would go crazy just because we couldn't help her. And then she'll pretty much curse us out and try to make us feel like shit just because we couldn't help her. And we called that girl family. And we called her family and everything. But then she's sitting here running around all over social media calling us a scammer and all this other shit. Getting people to turn on us. But you know what? When we made that video yesterday showing people that we were paying people back... Not even half the people that come in to bash us and talk shit about us watch the fucking video and acknowledge the video of us paying people back. Of course not. 
No, they don't care about that shit. They only care about what gives them something to talk about. Save my pregnancy videos. And they'll go save all the videos and everything. Or what? Or, or you just showing a pregnancy bump. They'll go save that shit in a heartbeat. And post it on Reddit. And post it on Reddit and talk shit about that. But when we're actually doing good for ourselves and trying to pay people back and build a better platform, that. they don't post that shit. They don't screen with short that shit. They don't defend us for that shit. They did defend... Surprisingly, they did defend us against Paige, though. Very surprisingly, they said something about Paige talking about us. That she had no room to talk. Yeah, Erica ain't got no room to talk either because at the end of the day, majority of the help that she got in was because of us. There's multiple times that you got into her life because she was doing nothing but sitting there and getting bashed. And she was literally crying in her fucking and life. Shut the, and shut you the shut them down. down. You shut the shit down. Her own mods couldn't stop it from happening. She had her own fucking mods and they couldn't stop her. They couldn't save her from getting bashed. It took you stepping in. That's crazy because she had one of the mods was supposed to be one of her best friends. Mm -hmm. And she had to unmod her. And she had to unmod her. Her own mods couldn't save her from and, and, and keep it her took safe. Me getting in the box and saying something. To you were out. in there by yourself modding, blocking people left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right, keeping the hate down by your fucking self. Mm -hmm. She had mods that couldn't even do that for her. Long people before you came in. in real life. People that she quote unquote Lou and Rose life was modded for her and couldn't even keep the hate off of her back. But my wife got in there and she made that shit happen. She made those fucking haters get the fuck out of there. And she got posted all over Reddit just for getting in there and helping that girl. Just for getting in there and defending that girl, she got posted all over Reddit for it. She's all over Reddit with that girl, defending that girl. Okay. For those of you that say I don't feed my child nothing but formula, she's eating fruit and loop, fruity loops and drinking regular milk with strawberry in it. And I'll never understand that. I'll never understand how somebody who built a little small platform off of the help that people gave them turns around and try to bash somebody and talk shit about them. Like you got more, baby. Did you lose it? Shorty, if it wasn't for my wife standing in your picture and standing in your box, you would have never made it that far. If it wasn't for my wife standing by your side and helping you out a little bit, you would have never made it that far. You would have never gotten that much help. How the only reason Mama Panda went in there and helped is because I shared the live to her. And then I mysteriously, she got Mama Panda to turn on you. Mm -mm. Oh. Mama Panda didn't turn on me that I know of. I just haven't seen her in forever. Well, I tried sharing the live out to people so they could come in here. Because that's just outrageous. Reason she got that $300 from Mama Panda, but I played it off like I didn't know. I'm the reason she got that. I shared the live to her. Yes, and I said $300. And then she was back on with the next hour asking for more. At least when we get our goal, we get the fuck off. We don't keep on. No, no, no. Not badass mama bear, y'all. Mama panda. I'm just, ugh. I'm over it, y'all. I'm straight up over it. All I'm going to say is, if y'all choose to help Erica, that's on you. But I don't recommend it. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. And I know I get on here and ask for help. And I know that I get the help. And I know that people think I'm a scammer, but I'm not. And I'm telling y'all. Do not give that girl money. Don't do it. And that's all I'm going to say. Show her screenshots. They already seen the screenshots. Because there was a night I was on video call with her. 
and she had sent her man to the store and he came back and she asked him how much of the TikTok money that, um, how much of the TikTok money did he spend at the store? Because that money was supposed to go towards groceries and their lights and stuff. But she asked and he said $34. And they went back and remade that $34. Yep. But you wouldn't want someone telling me. You're right. I wouldn't. But you know what? Wrong is wrong. And it's crazy because they'll sit there and whatever money he went and goes back in the background is what money she went and was asking for. Yes, Nicole. Yes. She lies to her supporters so they will send her money. Yes. Whatever she asked for is what he spent. Yep, and then she'll go back on there and ask for it all over again. Say they're $34 short or $20 short or whatever. Because he went out to the store real fast and spent that little $20, $30. On cigarettes and drinks. But anyways... That's all I'm going to say about that situation. I don't want to keep talking about it because it's just going to upset me more. So, but just be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Be careful. And now I'm letting Dom take back over because I'm done. And please, 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 for all you fucking trolling ass fuckers sitting in here, once or right now, please take this down. Post this shit. Post this shit because I made a video about it yesterday too and I told everybody, look, you know what? Every week somebody's going to be paid off. And I still don't see it on Reddit yet. But I want this shit to be on fucking Reddit. So the entire world knows that we are in the phase now where we're trying to pay people off and move forward with our life. So right now. Nummy, nummy. Morning, Snickers. Nummy, nummy. No, no, no. Say no, no, no. Say it. No? You don't want to say it? Okay, all right. You don't have to say it. Is that it? <laughs> no, no, no. This is the first $90 that we paid back to no, one of the people no, no. who helped us. I wish I could say their name so they could come in here and confirm it, but they don't want their names to be exposed. And honestly, this person doesn't ever really come into our lives, so I don't know what their TikTok name is for me to actually- Yes, you do. You just said hi to them. Huh? You just said hi to them. Oh. Yeah, you just said hi to them. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I didn't know that. This whole time she's been coming in and saying hi, and I'm like, who the fuck is that person? <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. I feel so bad. Oh, God. All right, but yeah, this is one of the first people, and thank God they're in here to confirm it, too. This is one of the first people. They sent this $90, and they we sent the $90 in full. Straight like that. And the only reason why we did that, too, is because they are one of the smaller... This is one of the smaller amounts. This is what, are you fucking serious? Somebody got the nerve to come in here and say, you probably sent it to your other account. When the fucking person that we paid the money back to is right there to confirm. The person is literally right there to confirm it. They literally other just said, account? they, they literally just said, go ahead, Dom, it's me. They literally just said, go ahead, Dom, it's me. And somebody got the nerve to come by and act like we're fucking lying. This is the ignorance. Y'all see the ignorance? Y'all see the fucking ignorance? Yeah, see the ignorance. This is this is crazy. Even uh, these little ones are funny. Okay, let me. I was messaging. No, it's working. Oh, I guess I'm trying to get my phone to act right. All right. So, yes, this is the first person to be paid back. For those of you who is wondering where is the money coming from, I work seven days a week. And I've been telling y'all this from the longest time now. For the past month and a half now, I've been telling everybody I work seven days a week. 
I just needed a little bit of help because I didn't get the job until last minute, right before Christmas, right before all the birthdays. That's the only reason why we needed the help because I got in my job last minute. I've been telling y'all for the longest time. I work seven days a week. People been coming me, coming with me back and forth to work every other day. I'll go live, and you guys will watch me get on the bus, and you guys will watch me get off the bus. You guys will watch me walk to work. You guys will watch me walk home from work. You're damn right, because I needed help with fucking Christmas. The fuck my kids was about to go without nothing for Christmas, and if it wasn't for me asking for help, I wouldn't have been able to have a Christmas for my kids. So thank you guys who helped me make it happen, make sure that I was able to do a Christmas for my kids. I appreciate it, you know, but here we are now making the effort to pay people back. Somebody sent us $90. It took us a while to pay the $90 back, but we paid that $90 back in full. And we're still paying off another person right now that we owe over $400 to. And we're still paying that person off. You know what? I work right now and I'm trying to do other things to make the extra money so that, that way we don't have to go ask for help. But there goes the money Someone sent us $90 We used the money And then we paid it back But Reddit don't talk shit about that Reddit don't talk shit about that You know They try to find any way To make it seem like You're still doing something wrong Nah I'm gonna let the hate grow out a little bit Because it's not enough To shut me down it's not enough to make me feel bad. Who the hell just sent us $71? Thank you guys for you being so kind. Thank you everyone for being so kind. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna let you deal with that. You could talk to her about that. But seriously, like, the hate, the, the hate was irrelevant. The hate is irrelevant. Completely involved. You did not have to do that, Phoenix. The hate is uncalled for. Oh my god, my Because we're dedicated people. Yeah, we might need help from time to time, but we're dedicated individuals. We're both young. I'm only 22 years old. I'm trying to... And my, my wife is 25. I'm trying to find it so that we... Can... And we got a lot on our fucking plate. I don't know anybody as young as no. us who got as many kids as us. I trying to do everything on their own. Says, um, this is a treat for you guys. This is all I have right now. So do me a favor. Go spin it on whatever you guys deserve to go out. I can't read the rest of it. Thank you, White Phoenix. I really do appreciate it. Oh, wait. It's right here. Hold on. I'm trying to read it all. Why can't I read it? My wife is over here sobbing right now. So just give her a moment. <laughs> I'm trying to read the whole message, but it's not showing it to me. Oh, wait, I might be able to go to my, my email and read it. And hey, look, I'm holding myself to that, guy. That paying people back yeah. is my responsibility. Hey, and hey, I guarantee listen. you. She said, this is a treat for you guys. This is all I have right now. So do me a favor. Go spend it on whatever you guys want. You guys deserve to go out, like go to a restaurant or something. This is White Phoenix 89. <laughs> Thank you, guys. But, um... Like, guys, I'm dedicated to that shit, you know? I was supposed to be getting me a portable charger today, but I'm going to wait till Saturday to try to reach out and go get it just so I have more time on my way to work to go and get it. Because I'm serious about building a decent platform out here and everything, you know, because the TikTok is going to help a lot and everything, you know? And we're going to try to do some more battles and stuff like that. I really want to get the talent show up and going because I was supposed to do a talent show a while back, but I couldn't get enough followers on the other account so i said fuck it we're just gonna get rid of that account and when i have the money we're just gonna do a talent show here on this account we're trying to find other ways other things to do on tiktok so that way we could actually build a decent Don't platform not for you. you should start posting videos and join the creator fund i already am part of the tiktok shop yeah creators um, where 
How many kiddos? We're on our fifth kid right now. We have our fifth child on our way, and he's a boy. We're learning how to slow down just a bit. I promise. We're learning how to slow Look, down. I'm getting my tubes tied after this. Yeah, we are not leaving the hospital until she gets her tubes tied this time because we ain't trying to have another one. We are staying in that hospital, and I'm telling the doctors, look, I don't care what you got to do. As long as you make sure that when we walk out of this hospital, this woman can't get pregnant again, I'm good. They can do a partial hysterectomy. Mm-hmm. Take part of my uterus out. There's a new creative fund. I'm not sure what it is called, but it's for videos over one minute. And a lot of people have a have had good luck with it. Cool. Oh, wow. We'll definitely look, look into, into that, that for sure. Thank you. Like, I want to be able... I don't want to just keep going live on TikTok, though. Like, I want to buy some of the stuff, like, the little ring lights and stuff like that that you could put around your stuff. I want to get a whole little setup table and everything, but that's going to be in time, yeah. And then... Hopefully, we'll be I wanna get the little the, about our I want to get the little interactive hey. thing. Hey. Hey. Breathe, mama. You getting upset is no ma'am. Maybe you should get a life and try to find something better to do with it other than trying to find something, other than trying to find people to bring down. But your comments is irrelevant to me. Hey, Snickers, don't waste your time giving them, don't waste your time acknowledging their bullshit. There you go. Would you like your monkey back? Because you could block one account, but you can't block them all. You could stop one person, but you can't stop them all. They're going to keep coming with the bullshit regardless. Drink your strawberry. I've already beaten three CPS cases. Out so people don't think that we're up here asking. It's not our anything. cash app, but for the people coming in, this is proof of the people of us starting to pay people back. So by all means, have fun. You want to take this and post that? All you're proving is we paid somebody back. That's literally all you're doing is proving that we're paying people back. So if they want to take this and go post this on Reddit. All you're doing is us showing, us showing that people are uh, showing people that we're paying people at. People CPS will be at the hospital. That's funny because you don't even know what hospital we're gonna have our child in. And I'm not saying the name of the hospital. There's multiple hospitals in New York City. What you gonna do? Call every last one of them and have CPS go to every last one of them? You you're don't stupid. Look stupid. <laughs> funny. If you think if you think for a split second that, that I'm CPS gonna is gonna lie. run out. That I am going to go live at the hospital with the name of the hospital in the background, then you're fucking dumb as fuck. <laughs> Thank you, Snickers, for confirming that. Like, bro, what? Thank you, Snickers, for confirming that. And for all of you that are hating... Phoenix well, and said, I love you guys. I know it's not a lot, but take your girl out for a treat or something. You deserve it. I know it took a while for me to send something when I said I would, so I'm sorry. And I repeat, don't pay me back. Somebody said it's not that deep. Yeah, it's not that deep until you see we paid off a couple of other people. And Wait, they maybe they might be talking about the person that just said something about CPS. Breathe and make sure that you're... No, they were replying to Snickers' message, and they said... I don't think anyone cares. You're going hard. It's not that deep. Because she posted. She said, they paid me back and I confirmed it. And then that person responded to that message. Saying, I don't think anyone cares. You're going too hard. It's not that deep. It's not that deep until we paid off a couple of people. And they start and they want to start making fake accounts. Talking about, oh, I sent you this. What about me? Knowing damn well they didn't send shit. So they're going to try to sit there and make fake accounts when they see us giving away money to try to get money off of us. Because that's what they're going to do next when they see that we paid off a couple of people and that day comes where we're actually on live and helping people and giving away money to people that needs fucking help. Then they're going to wiggle their way in with a fake account talking shit. Oh, yeah, you know, I just lost my dog and my and, 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 and my daughter needs diapers and wipes right now. And I haven't paid my rent in three months. Now my rent is over $50,000. Can you please cash at me? That's what they're going to do. And I don't care. That's why I'm trying to tell Snickers, ignore the hate because they're just going to keep on making fake accounts and coming back in with the fake shit anyways. You block one fake account, you get rid of one hater, another one comes in. Baby, with that money, since you said go to a restaurant, can we go to that Jamaican store? If it gets too bad, I can always just turn the comments off and they'll leave sooner or later. It's not that big of a deal. 
The same way how they feel like me sitting here trying to prove my rights is irrelevant for them. Their comments is irrelevant to me. And I can always just turn the comments off. I got to work soon. I'm not worried about it. I love it. Thank you, Snickers. I appreciate you standing up for us and stuff and coming in here to confirm that we did pay you back. Lily, you want a treat today? Yeah. But here we are now, guys. Proof of that we paid somebody back and y'all still can't take that. Y'all still can't take that. That's still not enough for y'all. There's always access for money. And you're always just hating because you got nothing better to do. But that's fine. Don't even respond to them, babe. Shit, they'll get bored and leave. That's Sooner or later. Yes, $1,000 for a birthday party you damn yeah, fucker but, right but and you know what throw in the fact that we put money into that too next year we probably spend more money damn straight because our son will and each year that goes by if we want to spend more and more money on our kids then we're going to spend more and more money on our kids and you could go tell cps that yes we are over here spending thousands and thousands of dollars on our fucking kids it's wasting your money. Hell, you know what? As long as my kids got a beautiful smile on their face, I don't care if I wasted every penny. As long as my kids are happy. If you got a problem with that, you're not so lucky. It was babe, TikTok's money. Yes, Phoenix TikTok this help. Babe, Phoenix won't accept the fact that we want to pay her back. TikTok did help. I'm not going to hide that. I have no shame in telling everybody that TikTok did help. There's nothing you can tell everybody that we're not telling them already. Yes, TikTok helped us with some of that money, guys. You guys have been here multiple times, helped us, which is why we're on here right now trying to pay people back as well. Because you guys did help watch us get help multiple times. There's nothing any hater could come in here and tell my life that we're not telling my life already. Yes, we had asked TikTok from help. This person right here in the background in the green screen is one of the people from TikTok. Hey, 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 hey. No, Who's man. helped us? We didn't know this woman. We don't know this we woman from a whole other heart. Herself. We met her on TikTok and she reached out to us and sent us ninety dollars out of the kindness of her heart. No, we don't. From TikTok. This person right here in the background was from TikTok. And they asked us to black their name out because they don't want to be bashing all this other stuff. Because her actual real name was in her cash shop and stuff. And I can understand that. I can understand that. Phoenix, I told on you. I don't know if you're in there, but I told Dom on you. Haha. Yeah, I see. She said I sent it back, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's funny too because we had people like that who will tell us you don't have to worry about paying us back and all this other stuff. We'll send it back if you try to pay it back. And then they turned on us and now they're out there. Phoenix won't do that. And you want to know why? Because Phoenix came to me just like Brittany. I'm not saying she did. And, and I explained so, everything. Yes. Right. But I've had people like that. We've had people like that who will tell us, oh, you don't have to worry about paying us back and all this other stuff. But then they go back, oh, thank you, Moon, for the heart me. Let's go. I'm, I'm starting to catch up on the gifts a little bit when people send the gifts. Like a, like, it's just if they're going too fast, it's hard. I know. That's how it was when I was doing the, um, what you call it thing. The NPC. It was hard because it, it was like roses after roses after roses after roses after roses. After roses. I'm just sitting there like, oh, my rose smells so good. Oh, my rose smells so good. And you know what? If they told us, if they've told us that they don't have to pay, that we don't have to pay them back and we chose to pay them back and they take that money, that's good. That makes us feel good about ourselves because it lets, them, it lets us know that they're acknowledging us trying to make that effort, you know? And if they choose to, if they choose to send it back, after we pay them back and everything, then we'll just take that money and move on to the next person. Hey, you didn't want to take back the money that you owed you, then fine. We'll just pay it forward to somebody else. <laughs> and that money will just keep going around and around and around until we find somebody who's willing to take it. And yes, that shit will be posted 24-7. We will post it right here on TikTok. Every time we pay somebody back, we will post it. We will post it. Yeah, we're all over Reddit because people like to only post the lies. People only like to post the shit that they want everybody to believe. But you guys wanted, you lucky wanted everybody to believe that we're scammers. Here we are. That's the name of the person. That's the name that they have. You want every lady lucky wanted everybody to believe. Oh, lady luck. 
She was another one that was in Paige's live talking shit about us. You want everybody to believe that we're just scamming people. Here we are sitting here showing everybody that we're not scamming people. Somebody helped us from TikTok oh, and we told God. everybody multiple times that we would work on paying people back. This is proof of us paying people back. Yes, we are all over Reddit because you people like to sit there and screen record what you want instead of the full story and they I like to go make lies about it. Why don't you go tell stories about your friend Paige and everything about how she actually have other kids but that she's bashing my woman for having kids when she has multiple kids. You're over here bashing my woman for having kids but the friend that you support so dearly has more kids than she lets on and you don't know that now, did you? Well, that's what Reddit said. We Did don't you know? know? Wait a second. Hold on, pause. Wait a Did you know? know? That's what Reddit said. We don't know if that's Did true. you know that your friend Paige? Yes, Paige has kids. Did you know that your friend Paige is also pregnant? And instead of her listening to her parents and taking care of herself and taking care of her kid, she's worrying about getting into another relationship with a new man. Baby. You Go into car meetups. Baby, you Kids because that's just what Reddit said. We don't know if that's true. I don't care. But still, I know what is true, though. I know what is true the she other day. The other day when she was sitting there telling you and everything how she was going to go to this car meetup knowing that people were going to be out there drinking and doing drugs and all sorts of shit. I oh, know. and she does shrooms. I know, she's, I know her doing shrooms is true because she sent you the fucking message telling you that she does shrooms. Yup. Do you still have that message? Can you pull that message up from when Paige was going around telling my wife that she does shrooms? Did you guys know that this woman does drugs and she faithfully does not mind telling people that she does shrooms? She doesn't care to tell people that. But she's over here bashing my wife. Just because she wanted to keep her pregnancy a secret. Oh, oh, but look at this person, guys. This is one of her biggest, this is one of her biggest supporters right here. This is her biggest supporter. Lucky is her biggest supporter. She supports the lady who likes to go around bashing other pregnant women when she's pregnant herself and doing shrooms. She's doing shrooms while she's pregnant and going around bashing people on Reddit. Can you grab her? Can I what? Grab her up. Yeah. And get a dress. I was going to let her play for a little bit. Get a dress off us. Okay, I got to find her something to wear. Come here, baby. But this is one of her biggest supporters, guys. This is one of her biggest supporters. She's going around telling everybody, check Reddit. Yeah, everybody's seen Reddit before where you guys screen record it. We all know about Reddit, honey. Where you guys screen record what you want and only tell half the fucking story. Everybody knows about Reddit where y'all only tell half the fucking story, but y'all don't tell everything. Y'all don't tell everything. Baby, You're worthless. Baby, You're standing there. Baby, do not argue with that lady. Exactly. You're standing there supporting people. Okay. You're standing there supporting people that does shrooms and drugs she while taking care of their kids. Bully. When we're actually yeah. taking care of our kids. We're actually taking care of our kids. We try to spend the money for our kids. We didn't get the money to go spend on shrooms. Hey, we didn't get the money to go spend on shrooms. We got the money and we spent a thousand dollars on our kids. Baby. Not on drugs. Baby, look at this outfit. You think it's cute? Mm-hmm. Come here, mama. Not on hugs. Let's get dressed. Not on hugs. Come on, what? Not on hugs. Don't live egg okay. restriction. Yeah, because you said the word drugs. So it's going to kick anybody that's not 18 or over. It's going to kick them out. That's all. Yeah, and your creator's baby is always high. I need a diaper. Your creator's baby is always high. Cause she's always on shrooms. Baby, I need a diaper in the waist, please. Well, I just didn't want her to roll off the bed. That's all. Here, never mind. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll just put it right there on the floor. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, you okay? What did you do with her diapers, honey? Hmm? What did you do with her diapers? After you changed her, what did you do with them? Baby. 
What did you do? Yeah, it's public us showing that we are paying people back, and y'all are still coming in here being ignorant. That's all you're showing is you Just being ignorant. Lady Luck, no, because it's funny. I want the people to come in here to see the proof of us paying people back and the people who are still being ignorant. 